You know, oddly enough, this is the second time we're talking about this player here on the channel. Even though he isn't really the best player out there, nor is he a guy whose name you might be too familiar with. Actually, I mean, due to the sheer volume of transactions this guy happens to be a part of, maybe you've gotten familiar with his name a little bit. But let's talk today about Colorado Avalanche goaltender Jonas Johansson. Because, as we had said, he has been in the news quite a few times when it comes to roster movement and just transactions in general, going from team to team to team, and it's gotten so vast that I feel it's honestly kind of appropriate to make a video chronicling the strange path that Johansson has settled on when it comes to making the NHL. So, who is Jonas Johansson and why have you probably heard his name before? Jonas Johansson is a 27-year-old goaltender, 6'5", 220, a left-handed catcher, drafted by the Buffalo Sabres back in 2014. He's a 61st overall pick back then, and he had spent most of his time after being drafted bouncing around between the Allsvenskan and the SHL. He had played for Brinash, he had played for Almtuna, but eventually, in 2016-17, he made his debut in the Rochester American system in the American Hockey League. From there, he continued bouncing up and down between the AHL and the ECHL this time, until in 2019-20, he finally made the Buffalo Sabres, starting six games, had an 8.94 save percentage, which honestly isn't that bad, but at the end of the day, his journey was starting to pave itself into the National League. This was a goaltender that honestly wasn't really all too great when it came to the actual performance. Obviously, an 894 save percentage isn't good, but like, for a guy brand new in North America, it's pretty okay just to see him getting that opportunity in the first place. In 2020-2021, though, Jonas Johansson was traded from the Buffalo Sabres over to the Colorado Avalanche, and this is why we had made a video about this player in the past. We talked about that trade when it happened, and Johansson going over to a Colorado Avalanche team that was in need of goaltending honestly had a pretty good showcase. He had eight games played, a 206 goals against average, and a 913 save percentage. That's like legitimate starter territory when it comes to NHL numbers. And even though he did go 5-1-1, one, one, he was playing in a pretty small sample size. And again, it's Colorado, so it's not really like the team is pretty poor in front of him like it was in Buffalo. But either way, Yoni Hansen was a Colorado Avalanche for a while until December of 2021. You see, before that, Jonas Johansson played a few games for Colorado. He had a nine-game sample size in 21-22, had a 3.73 goals against average and an 8.85 save percentage. Not good in the slightest, and a lot of people would go out there and say, yeah, no, this guy wasn't really all too good in general. He was just kind of there, and the team needed goaltending, so they ended up placing him on waivers. He got claimed by the Florida Panthers and made his way over to that team in December, and in the two games he played with Florida, he had a 7.66 save percentage and a 7.74 goals against. I've never seen an NHL goaltending stint have as similar of a number as his goals against and save percentage happened to be in 21-22 with the Panthers. He was 0-2-0, he lost both of the games, and of course he did because having a 7 save percentage and a 7 goals against, it's kind of... Yeah, that's pretty not great. And eventually, he got sent down to the AHL on a conditioning loan. He was recalled back to the Panthers, he stuck around with them for a while, and eventually became a free agent, signing again in the July period of 2022 with the Colorado Avalanche. So, if you're following the timeline here, Jonas Johansson went from Buffalo in 2014 to Colorado in 2021 to Florida in 2021-2022 back to Colorado in 2022. But the story gets a little bit crazier after that, because partway through the 2022 offseason, on September 29th, the Avalanche placed Jonas Johansson on waivers, and the next day he was claimed by Arizona. He has gone from being a Buffalo Sabre for seven years, something like that, to making three transactions from team to team to team in the span of a year. From Colorado to Florida, to Colorado to Arizona, and all of a sudden he's looking to potentially being a guy suiting up for the Yotes in a position to maybe help them out in their tank. Who knows how good they're going to be in the Arizona State University Stadium and how well some of these guys are going to perform. But on October 11th, 2022, so two days ago, the Coyotes placed Johansson on waivers once again, and then he got claimed 
once again. By Colorado again, too. So Jonas Johansson legitimately had three separate stints with the Colorado Avalanche in the span of a year. It's kind of crazy, but all in the span of less than 12 months, he had gone from Colorado to Florida to Colorado to Arizona back to Colorado via the waiver process several times. And now, because the Colorado Avalanche actually had Jonas Johansson before, the Coyotes claimed him from Colorado, they're able to send him down to the Eagles without any regard, and they did that just yesterday. So Jonas Johansson is going to the Colorado Eagles. He'll play there. He'll most likely be there for the whole year because he's not really all too great, but just on paper, seeing this guy get traded around and sent down on waivers and claimed endlessly, it's a very weird story, for sure. And there are some other elements. Here's a tweet made by Craig Morgan. If you're wondering why the Coyotes goaltender Jonas Johansson, former goaltender for the Coyotes, I guess you should say instead, if you're wondering why he wasn't getting a second look in the preseason, it's because he's actually hurt. He's listed as day-to-day. He had played one preseason game, and there's not really too much evaluation material there. But at the end of the day, I mean, this guy has free reign to be sent up and down between the NHL and the AHL for, I believe, it's 30 days. So if he is, in any respect, able to force himself into the goaltending conversation with Colorado, Alexander Georgiev, and Pavel Francouz, then we'll see where exactly he goes. But at the end of the day, I mean, if I was Jonas Johansson, I'd feel pretty loved, all things considered. The Colorado Avalanche have saved this guy from being a part of a Sabres team that probably isn't going to be all too great, and they saved him from a Coyotes team that is probably not going to be all too great either. So, I mean, he's going from bad team to good team to okay team to good team to bad team to good team. It's very weird. So, ton of the comments on your thoughts, all your opinions about... Jonas Johansson and the games that he has played. If you've actually seen many of his AHL highlights or watched a few Colorado Eagles games, Rochester Americans games, if you remember him from his time in Buffalo or his time in the previous two stints he had with Colorado, I mean, one of them wasn't really anything. He didn't play. He just signed as a free agent back in July and then got waived and claimed. But if you remember anything about him at the NHL level, what are your thoughts about that? If you're a Florida Panthers fan too, I want to hear what you have to say about Jonas Johansson and his overall performance, because that Florida stint, my gosh, I know it was only two games, but that's pretty bad. If you go over and actually look at the statistics of those games, you'll see that the two games that he had with the Florida Panthers, first was on February 24th against the Blue Jackets. It was a 6-3 to loss where he led in five goals on 27 shots, so an 8-17 save percentage. And then the second game that he played was the final game of the year for the Montreal Canadiens, where the Habs scored 10 goals and Johansson allowed all of them. 37 shots against, 27 saves. Ay ay ay. what a bad stat line. At least Cole Caulfield gave us some things to cheer about in that game, but either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this really weird transition from this guy from Buffalo to Colorado to Florida to Colorado to Arizona back to Colorado. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye. <laughs>